Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Meriwether County, Georgia, with Russell from Georgia Transparency. As he can't get it through his thick skull on the price of a FOIA request, but you can't expect much intelligence out of this guy. After all, this is the same guy that did try to audit a junkyard a while back. So sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, Transparency is going hot here at Meriwether County Clerk's off Commissioner's Office. Pick up some open records. We got an old glory flying up there. She's flying high in the wind. We're gonna go in here and. Dang, that was loud. Hey, Mr. Baker, sorry about that. I was trying to get to you. Oh, no, no. I on the phone that I was trying to get off of the Ah, no. Open ah, cool beans, cool beans. Can I see something really quick? Oh, is that open yet? Yeah, it's open. Oh, fine. Yeah. I ain't got time to wish I had time running there. Uh, yeah, uh, Georgia Open Records, they're a great thing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, y'all follow all Open Records laws and in yes, the state of Georgia? Yes, sir. Everything? Okay. Yes, sir. Well, of course, Rusty. I'm sure they follow a law, unlike you. By the way, I heard you lost your job recently because of this frauding BS. Alrighty. Um, and the cost of this is sixty-four fifty-four. Sixty-four. Fifty-four. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Did you get my email? I responded back to. You? Um, I got the response of to process it, but I never got an approval yeah, okay. to approve that for $25, okay. anything over that. So okay. so should I only have to pay $25 since yes, I didn't approve it? No, you can just, uh, I mean, you didn't approve it, but we usually, if you don't approve it, you wouldn't get it anyway because it does cost over $25. We have to have your approval if you want us to spend over that. Over $25? Yes. I never gave you my approval to spend okay. over $25. And that's though. fine. That's fine. Yeah. But if you do want the record, it would be sixty four fifty four. Okay, okay. Yeah. Didn't you just? And that was the cost of the. Uh, the cost to do it. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so I didn't approve over twenty five dollars. No, no, you no. did not. I did not, but you charged me anyways for it. No, you're not going to be charged. But if you want the record, it's sixty four fifty four. Oh. Does that make sense? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, that kind of violates the open records law for the states of, for the state of Georgia. Hey, Rusty, did that recent loss of employment go to your head you don't have to pay the $64 you could just leave without the record but if you want the record you have to pay the $64 how, how is that um, if it's less than $25 then you can go ahead and process it and charge me but if it's an amount over $25 um, I have to approve it for you to process it. I didn't approve yeah, it. And for, me you just, to, for me to get it for you. You just stated that y'all follow all Georgia open records laws. Yes, sir. We do. That's and true. then I should only be paying $25 this you morning. Would be, you would pay $25 and under $25 if that's what the cost of the record yeah. is. But the cost of doing the record was more than that. But I never approved any more than and 25 you don't have to approve it. You don't have to, be, you don't, you don't have to get the record. If you, I mean, if you, want if you sent me a, that, you would. well, if you sent me an invoice or an amount that said it's going to cost sixty four dollars, mm -hmm. and then at that point I could say no, or I could say yes, I'll pay that. I never got that. All I got was it's going to cost sixty four dollars, mm -hmm. and then in what I submitted, yeah. it states perfectly in there, and it states the that portion of the law of Georgia if it's going to cost more than twenty five, I need to authorize. I never authorized that. Okay, though. and that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Russell, it's fine. You don't have to pay the $64 because if the cost of processing the record was that much you can just walk away and pretend it never happened and that you don't have to have the record but if you want the record you gotta pay the $64 I mean it's that simple okay so yeah, that's fine. so I can only pay $25 not for the record you cannot the what I would do is if I would tell you it's, it costs sixty something dollars for the record, you would let me know. Yes, I want the record, or no, I don't want the record. Huh? Yeah. But uh, the email I got from you was your records are ready for pickup. It's going to cost sixty four dollars and some change. If you're, if you're interested in, in uh, so kind of those, it's sixty four dollars. Okay, so it's y'all's practice to go ahead and process open records over twenty five dollars and hope. 
that the person pays or not? Because if I said, nah, never mind, it's too much, then you would have processed that for no reason. Well, the, sometimes you don't know how much it's going to cost, Mr. Pickering, until you actually get in there and, and start doing the record. You don't know what's going to be over $25. <sighs> but you don't have to get the record if you don't. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to pay the... Uh, I'm going to pay the $64, but uh, that is a huge violation of the law. Y'all are violating the law here. Oh, please, Mr. YouTube Law Expert, engage us. Tell us why it is against the law. But, of course, you won't do that, so let's just go ahead. Five hours later. The Georgia Open Records Law states that um, you sure you want to do this, ma'am? I you sure we'll you want to do this? Let me do this. I'm the, only the clerk. Okay. Let me talk to the attorney and let me ask him to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Okay. If you'll give me just a yes, second, of course. I don't know if I can get him on the phone. Give me just a minute and I'll go give him a call. Perfectly. Okay. I'm just trying to give you every opportunity yeah. to... And let me make sure I've got it clear with you also. What you're telling me is that you feel that you should have the record for $25, correct? Yes, ma'am. Because ma you didn't authorize it to be... Over 20 yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. A little longer than a few minutes later. To the attorney, it is this charge that's on here. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so we're going to violate the open records laws then. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, we are. No, I'm just saying, uh, you, you said that. I didn't say that. I never approved 60 something dollars, ma'am. But you, you don't have to receive the record either if you don't want it. Pardon me, ma'am, but. Russell here just recently lost his job, or more like was fired from it. So if you could take pity on him and let him have the record for $25. But you know what? On second thought, that would be appeasing this moron, so never mind. He shouldn't get the record anyway, if he can't afford the costs of processing. Do you not want the record, Mr. Pickford? No, no, I do want the record. That's why I sent it in, but... Um, I wish I would have been uh, told ahead of time. Um, I did get into my response to on the email on, uh, yesterday. I gave you the amount on the invoice. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah, but I, I never approved it though. But you don't have to get the record if you don't want it. So since you didn't approve. Okay, so we're going to, there you go, there's 60, was it 64? 64, 54. 60, there's 65. Okay, hold on, let me go get your change. Okay, thank you, ma'am. More moments later. Change. All right. And then here, I made a copy of this just so you would have it. This was my response to you. Did you get this right here yesterday? And I got a confirmation that you received it, and then I got this was the next thing. I never got a bill for me to approve anything over $25. Yeah. That's in the... Uh, and if, and yeah, if you wanted to get it, you would have to yeah. approve it. But sometimes in, in trying to pull the information, you don't think it's that much. Right. But once you start pulling it, sometimes it's a little bit more. Okay. Is that what you need right there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I don't understand why. I mean, you, stayed, you made the statement that y'all adhere to all... Um, OCGA. To my, to my knowledge, we do. Now, if there's, I did call the attorney, our county attorney. I didn't personally talk to him, someone else did, and they did say that was true. Uh, so, okay. I wanted to confirm that. I will, uh, we certainly don't want to be in violation of anything like that. Y'all are, though, with this. Y'all are. I never approved anything over 25. Because if I said, no, I'm not going to pay that, then you just don't do the records. I don't get them. I don't get them. You don't work on them. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was, 20 bucks mm -hmm. then yes right if i wanted it i gotta pay the 20. Right. anything over 25 dollars has got to be authorized yeah it'd be authorized for you to receive it but you don't have to receive the record if you didn't want to receive the record okay all right miss beverly thank you very much thank Mr. you Mr. you have, have any a questions let us know i sure will man thank you so much thank you have you. a great rest you of your day decide. thank you thank you so let's recap this issue he didn't want to pay the $64, even though he was told ahead of time in the email that it was going to cost $64. Well, okay. Sounds like a mental issue right there to me. His mental faculties must have been affected by that recent job loss, if he ever had them to begin with.